welcome to my channel, welcome to the Yoga Shala where we've got a heart opening workout for you today, a nice flow to open up Anahata Chakra. If you can, please like, share and subscribe and when you're ready, come on up to the top of your mat. Take a nice big breath in, lift up, exhale, fold forwards, lift up halfway and release. Step back with your right leg, bring the knee to the earth and release. Lift up, reach up to the sky and then take your hands behind, open your heart, shine to the sky. If holding your hands like this doesn't suit you, take hold of your elbows or just hold your hands, hands on your backs. So just holding in this heart opener. And then bring it through. Come into a nice high lunge, but bring the back foot down. Lifting high into warrior one and then moving down into humble warrior. And again, lifting the arms if that suits you. Just hold here and breathe again. You can just rest the hands on the lower back in this grateful warrior. Just breathe here a couple more breaths, thinking about opening your heart if you can. Come up on an inhale, release, and turn your feet to face the long edge of your mat. Open your heart to the sky. And as you exhale, just slowly tip from the hips folding around about halfway, long through the spine, long through the legs if you can. If your hands reach the floor, then you can come onto the ground. If you don't come onto the ground, you can use blocks or books or a chair here and lean on, whatever feels right for you. Just take time to breathe in. And then release your head towards the ground. Just a ground of breath. And exhale, release once more to halfway. And then pivot round to that high lunge. Pausing here, lift your heart open. Step back into down dog. Roll out into plank. Lower yourself down and push through and up. Open your heart in upward facing dog. And then rolling back into downward facing dog and just hold here for a couple of breaths just breathing and releasing letting go enjoy this time in this inversion just breathing your way through breathe and let go Really, maybe pedal out the heels. Really enjoy this time to just be still if you want to, but if you want to pedal, pedal out the legs. Just feeling your way through. It may be your first down dog of the day, so we just want to take it nice and easy. Rolling out now into plank. 
And then you can either step your feet in little baby steps up to the front of your mat, or you can step up or spring forwards, whatever you feel right doing. Lift up halfway. Release down once more into Uttan. Sweeping the arms up and out as you lift up to the sky. Heart center, give thanks. And release. side, lift up, open your heart, flow forwards and down, exhale, lift halfway and release down, step back on the left leg, lift your heart, bring the knee down if you do on the other side, lift the arms up and then release them down. Opening up the chest, really lift and open to the sky. And then release, step up into high lunge, anchor the back foot, rise once more into warrior one. Take the hands and bow down into grateful warrior. Opening the chest, moving the arms back. Really breathe into this posture. It's a deep, strong pose. Take time to just enjoy being here. And then release. Release off. And turn into your prasarita. Turning away from me. Me turning away from you. Opening your heart this time. Lift and reach. Reaching back. And then if you wish to, folding forwards and let your arms roll up. You can bring your head to the ground if that is within your realms. Just whatever suits you. Breathe through here. Just allow yourself to settle, let the arms fall towards the ground, really opening the heart, opening the chest. And then release the hands back to the back, hands onto the ground. And just lift up, coming through and just come back over halfway, pivot round into lunge, hands down, flow, step back into dog, roll out into plank, lower through, push up into up dog, open your heart to the sky, and then rolling over the toes, come into down face dog, spending your time here, And then roll through into plank and slowly walk your feet back to your hands or you can step or hop in, whatever you feel like doing. Hold here in forward fold. Lift halfway. Release down. And then Opening your heart, lift up and draw in and release. Just hold here for a moment. Just allow yourself to absorb the vibrations of that first round of sun salutation. 
Just preparing your body. For your day, for your life. Feel your feet spreading out. Feel your hands releasing. Close your eyes and connect to breath. Just breathing here, a few more rounds of breath. Breathing in and breathing out. Breathing in and breathing out. Beautiful. Just a couple more breaths in and out. Tension here. 
opening and closing the heart. And then just drop the chin down, take the chin up towards the right shoulder, drawing the line down and then up towards the left shoulder and down. Do that again, up and down and up and down. So we're going to come into triangle pose. So opening yourself out nice and wide on your mat. Step your feet around three feet apart, but it's about the length of your legs. So if you're really tall, it might be more. If you're really short, it might be a little less. Imagine that you're making a T shape with your feet. So this heel is on the instep. And you can always turn this heel out a little bit, but don't turn the toes out. So just keeping it here. Bring your hands into your heart. Open your heart and open your arms. Kick back through the back hip, keeping the arms nice and straight and reach forward through the front hand, keeping your heart open. So don't let this top shoulder roll forwards and close the heart down, keep the heart open. Bring the bottom hand down and send the top hand towards the scar. Keeping that heart open all the time. If you can slide a little deeper, then please feel free. But again, don't collapse. We can all do it if we come forwards here. It's about keeping the heart open. Really nice and wide. Look up to the top hand if your neck allows you to. Just really working into this posture, keeping it beautifully open. Take a breath, bend this knee to a bowl up. Bring the hands down and bring the feet in. Turning out through the other foot now, setting up the feet, opening your heart, making sure lengthen through. And again, just kick that hip back, keeping the heart open, reaching forwards. And then let this hand just fall down as this hand reaches up, opening your heart to the sky and just settle here. And as you feel you're getting space in your body, maybe you'll go a little deeper without dropping that top shoulder. Really looking for openness here. Doesn't matter how far down you go. If you're here, that's your triangle. That's just as beautiful as anything else. If you're all the way down, that's just as beautiful as anything else. Your expression of this pose is all that matters. Bend the knee and reach up and let go. Bring the feet together. And we're gonna come down onto our mat, onto our hands and knees. into a nice kneeling position. So we're just going to think about opening the heart. Lift the heart up. And cow pose, open, heart, open, open. Lift up into cat, very briefly, come back into the heart opener. And then find a neutral spine. Send your right leg away behind you and elevate it and just lift up through the left arm. Just hold here as long as you can. And then change. Other side. Hold, 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 hold. And then we're just going to move through breath. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Changing sides. Inhale. Exhale. Once more on each side.
take your knees wide, sit back, bring your heart to the earth, arms going long, feel the shoulders come back, feel the heart coming down. This is too much for the shoulders, release off the arms slightly. Notice your breath. Pull yourself up to kneeling. and then bring yourself over onto your right hip just letting the legs be neutral or you can come into swastasana opening the heart bring that left hand round lift your heart to the sky as you rotate round to the right side Take it a little deeper if you can. Take a breath. And then just come back to centre. Make yourself into a little egg shape here. Just draw yourself in. to the other side so I'm just changing position slightly so hopefully you can see so again you can just sit on that left hip just have the legs in neutral and then just bring the knees into swastasana if you can sit up nice and tall bring the right hand around onto the left knee open your heart how you can spiral round to the left side. Breathing in and breathing out. If you can't make the floor here, you know, use a block or if you've got that chair, you know, you can always use props. There is no reason to not assist yourself. about where you can go rather than oh I can't do this or I can't do that okay let's have the legs extended pull out the sitting bones so the ischium are on the ground sitting up nice and tall and because we're in a heart opener today what I don't want you to do is drop down okay I want you to think about opening your heart opening up into this Beautiful Dandasan to begin with. Lift up. Big stretch through the back of the legs, back of the body. And then as you come into forward fold, keep the heart open. So rather than dropping the mid back and the top of the back, keep that open. 
moving from these hip joints and just close your eyes and just see where you get to and again curiosity rather than judgment just feeling yourself coming into this posture but keeping that heart open keep the heart open into it explore your range as you feel things release and then reach the arms up into a reverse tabletop. Open that heart, let the head fall away. And then let's just do that again. Remember you can keep the knees bent, you don't have to have the legs straight. But we're not looking to get the chest on the thighs here, we're looking for the chest to remain open. So just really lengthen through. Open your heart, reaching forwards and through. Always remember to breathe. Even when you're holding postures, we don't hold breath. Just see if we can go a little deeper. Shavasana. Take a moment in Shavasana. Just absorb the postures that you've done so far. And then bring your hands to the earth, bring your feet to the bottom. We're going to peel and lift the back, coming up into shoulder bridge. Opening that heart. Really root down through the feet, toes and heels. And peel and lower. Releasing off. Rocking it out letting it go and then coming up again standing down into the feet reaching up and release this time bring the knees in and we're going to come straight back up into bridge pose but this time we're going to make it a heart opener so stand up into the feet, squeeze the shoulder blades in and if you can keep the arms drawn alongside the floor, don't let them pop up, lift the hips to the sky, really open your heart. And then when you're 
when you're ready, untuck the shoulders, let the spine peel down. And reach in with the knees. Letting it go and releasing. Bend your knees once more, take the arms out to the sides. Bring the knees in and just walking over from side to side. So again, opening the heart here as you drop the knees away. See how much the heart is open, the chest is open. Just gently rocky. If this is too much for you, please bring the feet onto the earth and just rock. Now just let the knees roll over to one side. If you want a deeper stretch, just reach that arm away and behind you, overhead. Keep pushing that shoulder into the earth. And then bringing it back to the ground, changing sides. And then coming back to centre. Now yourself to release and relax for one or two moments or for an hour, two hours, for as long as you need, let's face it, Shavasana often. Close your eyes, close down your throat, and just take a few moments to breathe and release. possibly can in this posture but from me for now I will say namaste. Have a wonderful rest of your day. I look forward to flowing with you again in the future. Keep smiling.